Hey, what's going on guys? It is non-reality and in today's video I'm making a guide on Primal Giant Post. Now Primal Giant Post is actually a really insane silver spot. If you're sitting around that like 290 AP range and you've been wanting to find different spots to grind because I feel like around 290 you're kind of in that spot where you can't kind you can't go to like Hex Sanctuary and do it really good yet. But you also don't want to go sit in Sakraya and Kurtuga for the rest of your life. So I think this is a really nice spot. It doesn't get talked about a lot, but it is, like I said, really insane. So let's talk about it uh, real quick for the silver. So for the silver, you're going to be getting anywhere around 900 to 1.3 bill if you're on the higher end of the AP scale. If you're a little bit closer to the 290 range, you're still going to be able to get around 800 million silver if you're doing the rotation correctly. And you're on a class that has a lot of AoEs. The spot is very AoE heavy. So if you're on one of those more uh, single target classes, I'd recommend another spot or you could try it out and see if it works for you. That's up to you, but I'd recommend it if you're on an AOE class, it does work a lot better. Now for the actual silver, like where you get all your silver from. So you do get a ton of these scornful spears. This is basically the trash loot for the spot. You're looking at 20,000 silver per item. And then along with those, you're going to be looking for the crystallized despairs. Right now, they're around 29 mil silver. They go up and down depending on what uh, like month it is and uh, how many new players are in the game. They can go anywhere between like 20 mil all the way up to 40 mil. So if you want, you can even save these for when they spike back up to 40 mil and make a decent profit out of those. Everything else, you don't really need to sell. Like these things right here, you can't really sell them because they're usually min listed on the market, but they're still nice to have. The scorching sun shards are for making god or eye armor or god or eye weapons and enhancing them so you're going to be using those for that so you can just save those up and these are used the corrupted breaths are used to make your frenzy droughts have five more monster ap so those are pretty nice if you're sitting in town and you want a little bit more ap for your frenzy droughts and then obviously we have the mass of pure magics always good to save we have sealed black magic crystals which everyone's been in the need for since the new crystals have come out and you need a ton of these and then you have do have a chance at a blessed soul fragment which is around seven to eight build depending on the day but this has an insanely low drop chance. I've only seen like one or two people ever actually get this. There's there's probably been more, but I've only seen it. Um, and then we have the black stones and then a uh, a buff, basically. And then you can also get a black disto earring. But I personally never get, got one here. They are a lot lower drop rate than some place like Star's End. But it is still possible to get one uh, every like three hours or so, depending on your uh, proficiency in the spot. Now, before we actually get into the rotation, there's one more thing I want to talk about, which is the AP cap for the spot. Now, this is a 5% cap spot at, I think, 856 AP. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but pretty sure it is 856 AP. So how do we get this number to see if we are at the 5% cap? Basically, you would do all of your buffs that you possibly want to use, and then you would look at your AP and your extra AP against monsters, and you would add those together. And if you are at 856, then you can swap out some droughts for different droughts, so basically how I would do it personally is I would try to put on any buffs that I want to run that aren't food and that aren't drought. So if you have like a villa buff, if you're running a church buff, if you're running any sort of house buff, I put all of those on, put on your stone, do everything that's like consistent AP. And then from there, you can see if you're at the 856 bracket from your AP and your monster AP. And then if you are from there, you can, you can swap your droughts out and what you would want to be using then is giant droughts for the actual the special attack damage because we're at that five percent cap so you're gonna not gonna be getting a ton of damage from ap past that so we're gonna want to be stacking special damage such as special attack down attack back attack all that good stuff so if you are at that cap we're going to be running giant droughts and we're going to be running exquisite cron meal if you are not at that cap you can play around with it maybe you can run a simple cron or you can run uh a frenzy drought or a beast drought depending on how how much silver you have um and then you can go from there if you are like near the cap i'd re recommend running simple crown and then still running giant or you can run uh like i said frenzy and then run exquisite instead that's up to you and i will say if you are a bit close to the dp cap and you're not too much of a sweaty grinder you might want to run frenzy droughts because these guys do hit a bit hard if you're not really paying attention so you'll need that extra ap gain from the frenzy drought but now that we have all of that out of the way, let's get into the rotation. So first off, we're going to park our horse right here. I don't know if I showed this yet, but I am right here at the, if you look straight up at the map, completely zoomed in, it's around like the nose and the left eye, or technically the right eye, if he's looking at you, uh, of this Primal Giant Post uh, monster icon. And it's, it's basically on the outside of the Primal Giant Post, and we're going to be putting our horse here, and then we're going to run over here, and this is where we would put our tent. And then from here, 
we are basically just going to be getting into the rotation. This rotation is super simple. There's a bunch of packs. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go pack to pack and you're going to kill all of these mobs. You're going to go to this pack and then we're going to go up here to this pack. We're going to go to this pack over here and we're going to go up here. We're going to go back down over here and then we're going to go over here. And now from here, you can kind of decide what you want to do. You can either go there to there and then back to the start. Or you can come over here and do this pack over here and then this pack over here. Just depends on how fast you're clearing. The spot does take a bit to clear and they do respawn really, really fast. So uh, you don't need a huge rotation. And this is why I like doing this rotation on the outside because I feel like it's less known than the other rotations. And it is a still really nice rotation. Everything's still packed together and you do get a lot of silver. Now, there's a few mechanics that come with this uh, spot. Not, not a huge mechanic, just, just a few. The first one is every so often when you kill a bunch of mobs, you'll get this little like glowy circle around on the ground. And this basically means you summoned like the event mobs. And how this works is a bunch of mobs will spawn in in waves. And then at the end of the wave, there will be a boss mob, which you can kill, which has a higher chance of dropping a crystallized despair. So basically what I would do if that happens is I would let the circle go do your rotation come back kill the mobs that all grouped up and then keep doing the rotation again and then kill the mobs that grouped up you'll kill like three waves of the enhanced mobs and then you'll spawn the boss mob when you do the, your next rotation you can come back and kill the boss mob and that is it for that now since this is a calpheon elvia spot we also have the events that do happen with the three bosses now if you've never done an elvia or calpheon elvia spot basically there's a low chance of you spawning one of three bosses uh the whole area will like turn like green or blue or purple in like this zone area and a big boss will spawn they usually don't hurt that bad and you can basically just back attack it until it dies it isn't that big of a deal but just keep your eye out for those because those do drop a decent amount of crystallized despairs as well but yeah that's basically it for this rotation i wanted to make it short and simple and i hope you did get the idea of this spot down if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.